Hi there folks, it's Mandy from Kemp Freehold and today I want to talk to you about menu planning. I do it on Sundays um, just because that makes it easier for me. I tried planning on Saturdays so I could take a day of like total rest on Sundays and it just it didn't work out for me. Uh, so I plan on Sunday afternoons and I have several steps for my menu planning. Um, so the first thing I do is clean out my fridge. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. Here we are at the fridge. It needs to be wiped down, but anyway. <laughs> this is my fridge. It's full of goat milk. You probably don't have this problem, unless you have goats. Um, so what I like to do is go through and see where... I have things that were left over that are no longer good. I try really, really hard to avoid that, but sometimes it happens. For instance, this tomato soup with doodles. They ate them the first day. After that, I couldn't, couldn't push it on them. <laughs> but there wasn't enough for just to serve it to everybody. Um, so that'll go to the chickens. Uh, that, that chicken broth is just fine back there. Um, this right here is a hollandaise sauce that I made out of eggs and mayonnaise and it's separated and it's probably really nasty smelling. So we'll take that out. Um, let's see, I have more milk back here. The fish isn't that old, so I will heat that up, um, for myself for lunch or something. And let's see, we have enchiladas, but they're still good. So I'm going to push those for lunch tomorrow. I have lasagna left over. We're going to push that for dinner tonight, I think. And this is some beef left over. So we're going to push that. These are what I picked up yesterday for half off. I was thinking about stir frying them tonight, but I have an awful lot of leftovers. So we're going to do the leftovers instead. Here's my cheese drawer. <laughs> Matt eats a lot of cheese. He eats one of those blocks a day. And I have some sour cream left. And I have these for Matt's lunch. So, I mean, really the refrigerator doesn't look too bad. Other than those few things. Oh, there's some pasta that I missed. Ah, oh, man. There's about a pint of pasta there that I missed somehow. So that went into the chicken bucket. And I will just pour this tomato sauce with doodles over that. And the kids will take this out to the chickens. Um, at least it's not getting totally wasted and cuts down our feed bill a little bit. But I try very, very hard to uh, not have leftovers to be thrown out. But sometimes they get jammed to the back because of milk. So I've got to find out a better solution for that. The thing I do is go through my freezer and pull out older things that need to get eaten. So we have these sabrettes hot dogs and a batch of these hot dogs then I have now the chicken is not old however it is not well packed for the freezer being in these ziploc bags and not vacuum sealed so I am pulling the chicken out um, so that way it does not get freezer burned and we're going to eat through the ones that are in ziploc bags and um, the ones that are um, in the vacuum seal, those will keep for a lot longer. And then I have this jar of spaghetti sauce. I have this dish pan that I use to thaw things in the freezer. It keeps it all contained, any juices are caught, and I find that that works the best. So I pull out everything that I'm going to need for at least the first part of this week. And now to make a plan based on what I've pulled out. Because that's how you do it. You look at what you need to use up. And then you make a plan from there. Don't do it the other way around. Don't menu plan and then go buy stuff. Do it this way. So now that I have a better idea of what I have and what I need to use. I will make a plan based on that. Now. I plan out my breakfasts. Is that backwards? Yeah, it's backwards for y'all. Look, I spilled coffee on it. <laughs> I got this handy little thing at Aldi for like $5, and I, I totally love it. But, you know, just do it on a piece of paper. I plan out breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. But 
the end of the week you'll see is kind of empty. Uh, that's because I kind of have to gauge on what's left to see what we need to use up. Um, so I'm, it's not a complete, it's not complete. It's never complete on Sundays. Um, but I do get interrupted by children a lot. Um, <laughs> but anyway, so here's the plan I came up with, and this is going to be backwards for you, so sorry about that. Um, but so tonight is going to be leftovers, um, because there are a lot of leftovers in there. Uh, I was surprised at how many leftovers, so I'll probably eat the leftover hamburgers. The kids will have the leftover lasagna, and Matt will have the leftover uh, beef from last night. Um, but there's also enchiladas that the kids could pick from, too. So, somebody's eating uh, the leftovers. We're all eating leftovers. And then for tomorrow, I'm going to do roasted chicken. So, I do the chicken in the oven so the skin gets all crispy. And then I'll do potatoes and vegetables with that. Or maybe noodles and vegetables. The vegetable's going to be corn because I have corn that was canned a lot longer than I'd like to admit to. <laughs> So we're going to use that up. Um, I, I neglected some jars. And then um, tomorrow for breakfast, we're going to have the grits and the quesadillas. Because remember, I was talking about how I need to use up the tortillas. So. And then uh, Tuesday is going to be English muffins for breakfast. Whether they have sandwiches or they have peanut butter on them, whatever. Um, then for lunch is going to be the leftover chicken. I'm going to turn into a chicken salad. And they're going to have that in pitas. And then for that night, we'll have spaghetti. Um, then Wednesday, I'm planning to make pancakes for breakfast. And they can have the leftover spaghetti for lunch. And then hot dogs and a poor man's meal on um, Wednesday night, which is um, hot dogs, potatoes, and vegetables. And then for Thursday, we'll have eggs and toast. And then they'll have sandwiches and soup, chicken noodle soup made with the leftover chicken because there'll still be more chicken left over. And then um, for dinner, a chicken carnivore casserole because there'll still be some more chicken left over. <laughs> I like to bake a lot, so that's what I'll do. And then Friday we'll have muffins and eggs. I have some peaches <laughs> that were canned up a long time ago that need to be used up also. So I'll probably make a filling for the muffins out of it. And then uh, we'll have leftovers for lunch on Friday, possibly. I don't know, we're gonna be dying eggs, I think. And then beef stir fry from those cubes of beef that I got at, on the discount um, rack last yesterday. And then I don't really have a plan for it. I got French toast for Saturday, and then, eh, who knows. I'll probably make up my mind around Wednesday what we'll have on Saturday. And then I did go ahead and plan um, Easter. So I have um, pastries from the freezer and I'm going to make a quiche to go with it. And then um, I found this. I'm not going to tell you how old it was, uh, but it is canned bacon, which comes out great if you want to make a gravy. It, it, it never stays in strips if you try to fry it, though you can put it in the oven and bake it and it'll be, um, it'll stay in one thing, in one piece. And I also have some ground pork. And you see, we live on the eastern shore of Maryland. And before that, we were in Delaware. And it's very, very humid here. So even though this isn't that old, it's um, it's, it's already starting to rust. So I'm going to go ahead and use those up. And this is ground pork. So I will make a gravy with ground pork and bacon and make biscuits. So I might actually skip the quiche because that's a lot to offer. Or I might save that gravy for another time. Maybe I'll put that on Friday. Hey, that's a good idea. That'll be dinner on Friday. Um, and that way, Easter Sunday will be easy for me. Just do the pastries and I can do the quiche ahead of time. And then for dinner, we're having one of those pork roasts. Um, I got a pork roast for $1.49, which it turns out it went on sale for $0.99 cents this week. But I had already bought it. <laughs> so, you know, it is what it is. So $1.49 for picnic uh, isn't too bad. So I'll um, 
I'll take that out and we're going to have mashed potatoes, vegetables, and deviled eggs. And I'll probably come up with some sort of dessert, although the kids will have, you know, the stuff from their baskets, so maybe not. <laughs> um, and that is how I do it. So the steps are clean out your fridge, look at what you have in the fridge that needs to be used, then look at what you have in your freezer that needs to be used. Then you make your plan. And if you don't stick to your plan because you have extras, that's okay. I don't follow my plan a lot of times. Um, but it's important It's important to have a plan. So that way if you don't know what to do, you have a plan. But if you want to do something else off plan, go ahead. It's, it's, you know, it. that's the best way to do it, um, in my opinion. Uh, be flexible. But have a plan. That way if you don't know what you're doing, you, you've got something. Uh, if this kind of thing is of interest to you, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo!